Welcome to another exciting episode of the Million Dollar Peddlers. I'm Paper Goy. And I'm Mr. Magazine. And it's Saturday, which means it's Bolo Day. And we're also going to hope that this doesn't glitch because we've been having a little bit of problem. i got to have a random neighborhood kid come on by. I guess a couple of weeks ago it froze partway during and uh, the items never changed. But hopefully it does today. Take it away, Mr. Magazine. All right, first up, uh, I don't know if it's golf season. Maybe in Florida it is, but not in Rochester, New York. Uh, Sergio Garcia, 2001 Upper Deck SP Authentic Autograph. I took, like, I think $55 on this. And that was pulled from a pack. It was pulled from yep. a pack, yeah. It's an early one. I don't know if it's rookies, but it's close to his rookie year. During COVID, it's probably 200 bucks. Oh. So if you're a golf investor, you know, it's Now's the time deal. to yeah, do it, yeah. He's, he's a tough signature, but... Um, what am I going to do with it? So I took the 55 and ran. Now, is that, that's on card also, right? Yep. Now, I don't know a lot because I don't follow that much, but I guess uh, to anybody out there, on card is worth more than on sticker, which is yep. then put on the card. Because they're actually at the signing with the cards and they're signing the cards, you know, where it's, it's, they send them the stickers, they sign them, send it back. It's not as personal. Maybe oh, that, okay. Right. You know, I don't know. But the, definitely it became, it wasn't a big deal years ago. Now it is. Right. Next up, any politician on the cover of a magazine should be worth 100 bucks. Oh, wow. This happens to be Spy, April 1998, Donald Trump on the cover. Wow. He's, he's back in, actually, he never left the news. He's been in the news ever yeah, since, right? but uh, he's still in more than ever. $123. Uh, I took about 100 bucks on this. Um, you know, I think I had it very high at 2 100 looks really clean. I don't know if it was worthy of getting graded. I've had it for oh, almost two years. But, uh, That's a know. good thing to know, though, that that goes for that kind of money. Well, Holy it's a man, young, bro. it's a young Trump one too. Right, so but still, one. yeah, wow. All right, Miko with weapon, Tiger Sharks, LG, a nineteen eighty six vintage figure. It took oh two seventy five for this. Oh my goodness, you were we bringing had, a noise. We today. had it for five hundred. It was a little high. It's not mint. Then I think the sale dropped it down. But again, I didn't pay a lot for it. And I got almost 300 in my pocket, so I can't really complain. Now, is that just a rare figure, or is that just a rare series? It's a, both. Yeah. Okay. It's a rare figure from a rare series, yep. Wow. Definitely. So. And we all know why this soul, God rest his soul, Terry Bradshaw died today. Oh, he did? I did not know No, that. it's a death hoax. I'm just kidding. Oh. But anyways. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> that was mean. You got to spice it up a little bit. That was mean. <laughs> Autograph right on mini helmet with COA. I took 125 on this, and... Uh, it's a good price. He's a good guy. Right. He's still living and breathing right now. Great actor, yeah, too. Gotcha. I wish it was April 1st. Yes. <laughs> Next up, you can definitely find these at garage sales. I don't know about estate sales, maybe, I'm sure. but uh, Well, in the Northeast, you can. I don't yeah. know if you could find that in Oklahoma. It's a Toronto Maple Leafs uh, no-name CCM jersey from the Hockey League. Um, it's an older version, but it did go for $81 in auction. Nice. Yeah, cool nice. stuff. Next up. And I'm sure we've seen these oh, all wow. over the place. He-Man, Masters of the Universe, uh, vintage lot, 10 figures. They are not complete with weapons, and they still went for about 5 bucks a piece. Right, right. So that's, you buy a big bunch of stuff, and the guy looks like Spider-Man, but he's got a claw thing. The guy in the <laughs> second row. And fangs. Um, and muscles. Well, again, that's one of those deals that you buy a, a big lot of them, and then you uh, pull out the best, best ones and then lot out the rest. Yeah, absolutely. Next up, <laughs> Paper Goy, life size bust. I mean, Phantom of the Opera. Uh, yeah, yeah, I got a better hairline. But uh, yeah, this sold for four hundred bucks. I had a gentleman selling me all his life size bust and figures, and I now, is this chalkware it. or? Uh, I do not think it's chalkware. No, okay. this is from like sideshow. Well, it's black heart, but it's you know I think it's the uh, cold cast porcelain. Okay, wow, yeah. neat. What did that? What would that go for new? Um, it probably would have run for three hundred bucks, four hundred okay, bucks. Okay, right, yeah. right. Yeah. And I think it's numbered, limited edition, sold out, sort of, you know, so forth. All right, first item I have over here: ninety-seven science fiction and fantasy paperback slot. I ended up taking like a ninety-dollar offer on it, something rather like that. Um, free shipping seems kind of low, but it's been listed since two thousand and eleven. And it was taken up two boxes worth of space. You think someone bought these to read, or it's a bookseller that thinks he can make a few bucks? Yeah, right. I don't know. And it was funny because uh, Whatnot was actually doing a thing with sci-fi. And I, I saw these boxes and I said, I should probably put these up for that. And like the next day I got an offer on it. I said, you know something? I would rather just sell it, move it on out. I've got enough other stuff yeah. to sell. I don't want to end this and break this all up into lots and sell it off. But I definitely left money on the table on this. That being said, I bought it in 2011 um, yeah. at, at a sale. I, you know, bought out all the... In fact, you were with me at that sale. 
Um, oh, really? It was a bookstore that was going out of business, and I ended up buying like all the books like this over here, and mm -hmm. didn't make any money on it. Remember, they were selling um, like by the by not by the shelf, but like by the area. Okay. I don't know if you remember that sale or not, but. So I left money on the table in this, but sometimes you just move it out yeah, and so be happy to get the room. just deliver. You know what I'm saying. I, do, boy. I do hear that. Uh, the Hammocks Waterbed Handbook. I went for $24. One of these things that most people probably wouldn't list in the first place. No idea at all why it went for $24. I don't know if the Hammocks was a good waterbed, a bad waterbed. I don't know anything mm -hmm. at all about it. Um, doesn't really, as Mr. Magazine would say, doesn't look like much. You don't buy a waterbed for your eight-year-old son that has bedwetting problems. I'll tell you that much. Or that it's, likes it's not going to absorb. It's not going to absorb it. Or or that likes to do jumping jacks wearing golf cleats. True. Um, yeah, up next, true. William Pynchon and Company fine footwear business card, Rochester, New York, Front Street, early 1900s. I got fifteen dollars out of this uh, with free shipping, I believe. Um, I think it's worth more than that. That being said. Who wants it when you get down to it? Uh, so I was happy to move it for that, and I'm sure I didn't pay much for it because it's so small. I'm sure it just came in a lot of stuff somewhere. It, it was eight years ago, right? Yeah, yeah it true. sat there for a while. So better just to move it on out. And I think that's kind of the theme of the show today is move stuff on out, get the money, make the room. Well, yeah, make the room with one business card. Woohoo! Mm -hmm. Yes. Exactly. Well, between this and that book lot, yeah, I made some room. True. <laughs> Averaged out. <laughs> there you go. Uh, Next World Magazine. Have you had this, Mister Magazine? I'm going to say no. Uh, first issue, Steve Jobs, went for $42, and it actually went overseas. So whoever ended up buying oh, that was overseas. Surprising. That's all it's worth. Um, Talking almost 35 years old. I mean, the first issue was crazy. Yeah, yeah. If I've never seen it, it must be rare. That right? is true. Right? That is what I hear. You are Mr. Magazine. You've probably never seen this either. Uncle Tom's Cabin, 1920s, though you're not Mr. Playbill. Uh, Uncle Tom's Cabin, 1927 program, Lockport, New York, Palace Theater. Uh, I think I took a $44 offer on this, something rather like that. Just just a local playbill, basically. Now, mm -hmm. granted, Uncle Tom's Cabin is collected, and I think that's the reason why I ended up going for that. Uh, but can't go wrong buying local playbills. Sometimes mm -hmm. they'll, they'll surprise you with what they can go for. And the final item we have today, uh, Mr. Magazine's a little upset because I, I broke into his uh, library and stole his Mail Models Handbook. Uh, from the 1980s with hair, fashion, mm. wardrobe, and manners. I saw this, and I actually thought it would be really good. I think I took a $20 offer on it. It's actually more common than you thought. Apparently, there I were was, a lot of I models. I was going to say, it sounds very cheap for something like that, but hey, what do I know? Yeah, no, there were a fair number of them out there, so there must be. you must have had a lot of competition well, back in the day. You know, I saved mine. I always thought it was worth something. You know, I, I can sign it for you if you'd like. <laughs> um, one of the problems is, of course, there are no photos. It just tells you all the various uh. things to do. Um, Fine, I'll give you a photo signed of myself. All right, that's fair. That's fair. Uh, shoe selection guide and selecting a shirt and a handkerchief and so on. Um, but kind of a neat thing. Uh, I, I would almost call this a sucker's buy because when you see it, you're going to go, oh, that's got to be really good. How many of those could there possibly be? More than you think. Uh, I mean, I was happy to get 20 bucks Did out of it. Did you put that in there free shipping and rise by Valentine's Day? Or is that an eBay thing? That, where does it say that? Right where it says free shipping, arrives by Valentine's Day. Oh, no, that would be an eBay thing. Oh, well. well, I... It'll arrive in over two weeks. I guess Leo DiCaprio will have no problem. He'll have this in plenty of time. Yeah, good. <laughs> he needs it. He needs a little more game. Um, <laughs> hopefully it helps you a little bit. Do hit the like button if you could, and we will see you next video. Take care. Bye-bye. <laughs>